The question is, what level of concern do we have for the Buccaneers right now? Marcus, what's the answer? High level, a very high level. And one is defensively for me, G, look, the back end is banged up, but they can't stop nobody from throwing the rock. And then the most disappointing thing about the team right now is the inability to get after the passer. This is where they made their name last year. This is why we thought that this team could be a Super Bowl contender coming down the stretch once the offense got rolling. I saw Vita Vea spying Taylor Heineke. I saw <laughs> Vita Vea dropping out in coverage, and Taylor Heineke has got a three-man rush going, and he's just standing back there all day long. They had to bring blitzes to get pressure. Devin White got through. But this team played afraid. And I'm looking at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and we had all of this hype and all of this energy coming into the season. You was asking me every damn day, were they going to go undefeated? And I kept saying, <laughs> hell no. But when you look at this defense, man, they not. They, this is not the dominant unit that they need to be in order to win a Super Bowl when you look at the rest of the NFC. And, and it does make one wonder, Dominique, were they ever? Or, or is this no. a team that just got hot at the right time? No, they weren't. They were a team that got hot at the right time. They brought back the, all the same players, but I feel like a broken record because it seems like every other week I'm reminding everyone that their playoff run was largely predicated on a lot of big plays, surprising plays by the defense. Like, they could have lost all three of those playoff games, but the last game, they dominated the Chiefs. So yeah. we remember that last game and think of them as some dominating team. They weren't that. They were up and down, just like they are this season, and they may not get hot at the right time this year. I'm looking at studio Dominique right now. Hey, uh, uh, they why? got lucky to win. Like every playoff team catches, bounces, man. That, that's how, that's how, that's, that's why true. you're quote hot, right? That's so true. no team had, is flawless. Here, here is the issue. You're going back and remember last season. Th let's talk about this season right now. The bottom line of Sunday is you can't give up 11 conversions of 19 tries by the I mean, Washington's not the greatest show on turf. Right. right? I mean, that's embarrassing, right? So, yeah. like from that point, you have you have to stop. I mean, there was a third and a third and 14 where everybody's missing. Like they can't tackle anybody. So much of this is going to be put on Todd Bowles. The bottom line, the guys are in the right spot. They're not making plays. So ultimately, go make the plays. You saw how frustrated Tom Brady was because you had him on the sideline for dang near 11 minutes on the last drive. We talk about four-minute drives being important. It's an 11-minute <laughs> drive and then walking in the end zone to score. That's embarrassing, bro. And that ain't coaching. That's players not making making plays at opportune times, and they're there. I'm telling you, go back and watch the tape. They're there. They just ain't making them. And then on the other side, you know, someone made the point yesterday. I think it was RC who made the point yesterday that we think of Rob Gronkowski and AB sometimes as luxuries because yeah. they feel like they have so many pieces. Maybe we're no. finding out those Vital. guys are necessities. Yeah, it feels like they are necessities, especially Absolutely. in the red zone, guys like Gronk and uh, on third down, somebody like AB. Like, these are dangerous players that allow Tom Brady to make these quick decisions and keep the pressure off. And of listen, them. man, they play – both of those players play with an edge. You know what I mean? Like, you Fair. think about Grunt when he's going over the middle, A, B, over, like, they have an edge about them and a certain attitude. Their offensive line has kind of taken that upon themselves as well. They want to play with an edge. But, again, you watch the last 10 minutes. You're telling me everybody in this room, as bad as they played, if they'd have gotten the ball back down three, are you betting against Tom Brady? No, Brady would have won the game. Absolutely. Won. Yeah, Brady would have won them the game so, if he had so, gotten so, the yeah, chance yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, but, but, go ahead, oh, Marcus. Last time. Come on, man. Like, let, let's not – I know both interceptions wasn't his fault, but it was two turnovers that yeah, put yeah. your defense back against the wall. And then, two, I'm, I'm with you, Jeff, on the defense, but the Tampa Bay Buccaneers got cute. They don't want they, – they stopped playing a physical brand of football. And if you remember also in that playoff run, it was Leonard Fournette and Ronald Jones that yes, was sir. helping this team have a lot of success. I hate so they even got I cute and they all were going too. Wrapping up ball. the weekend. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.